As a diabetes specialist, I'm always preaching my patients about the importance of a healthy diet. But I'll be honest, I'm not perfect. And there have been times when I have struggled to follow my own advice. Recently, though, I decided it was time to get back on track. And in just six weeks, I lost 20 pounds. Now, I'm not saying that this is easy. It definitely takes some effort and discipline, but it is possible and I am a living proof. If you are struggling with your weight, know that you're not alone, but also know that it is possible to make a change even if it is just one small step at a time. It can be really frustrating when you feel like you have tried everything to lose weight and nothing seems to work. It is easy to feel like you're failing or like you're the only one struggling. But the truth is, a lot of people have a hard time losing weight and keeping it off. Hello everyone, if you are looking for exclusive deals, blogs, educational content every week delivered to your email, subscribe to our newsletter at sugarmds.com right now. There are a lot of possible reasons why your weight loss efforts might not be working, including like medical conditions, such as being on steroids, stress that can increase your steroid levels, hormonal changes like menopause and more. And unfortunately, there is no one size fits all solution. What works for one person might not work for another. The best thing you do is to keep finding new ways to care for yourself and to be patient and kind with yourself through the process. Remember that your worth is not tied to your dress size and you are so much more than that. And eventually with enough trial and error, you will find the approach that works best for you. I think we can all agree that losing weight is not easy feat. There are so many obstacles and temptations standing on your way. It is hard to know where to begin sometimes. For me, one of the biggest problems was that when I came home, my wife cooked a big meal and expected me to eat otherwise she pretty much felt offended. And for those who know me, I work very hard. I see a lot of patients in my days and it can be very stressful. So when I come home, I am looking for ways to decompress and relax. Needless to say, this did not always lead to the best food choices. Yes, for me. I always told myself, okay, I will exercise more to burn it off, which I did. However, Believe me, exercise is overrated. Never use exercise as a means to burn off calories that you are planning to eat. But I was determined to lose weight and I knew I had to make some changes. So to overcome this challenge, here is what I did. I took advantage of the fact that my wife just delivered our baby, who was gorgeous, and I am grateful to God for that. On the other hand, as you know, like any other woman, she gained weight. She is a very strong-willed woman and she wanted to lose weight. I said, wait a minute, that's a great opportunity for me because if you stop cooking dinners or just cook soup or salad, something super simple, then we may not have to worry about eating too much in the evenings, right? Also. We just moved to, into a new house which we built, which is again, I'm very grateful to God for all these blessings. I told my wife, do not unpack any kitchen items. So our kitchen, including our fridge, was pretty much empty. So there was really no snacks to eat either. Another thing that I noticed that I used to be a big fan of meat especially chicken and fish, not the red meat as much, but I would always make sure to have some sort of protein at dinner. However, I recently changed my diet 
with this approach and started eating mostly vegetables. I made the vegetables taste better with olive oil and spices. I found that I was less hungry throughout the day and I had more energy. I also started eating fruits and nuts instead of snacks that are, you know, pre-packed. I'm not saying that I will never eat meat again or red meat again, but I'm definitely more conscious of what I am eating and how it makes me feel. Our strategy worked and my wife and I lost 20 pounds in six weeks without feeling deprived because she and I, we both had a light meal in the evenings or no dinner at all some nights. So if you are faced with a situation where you and your spouse wants to lose weight and you do not want to have her like feel deprived, consider using this strategy. Don't go alone. Trust me, it works like a charm. I used to think that food was the only thing also like that made me happy and relaxed. I would sit down and watch some TV and eat some snacks every evening until I realized that even if I exercise and I burned off, I wasn't necessarily super happy about it. I decided to make changes in my habits, started drinking like for example, a protein drink for breakfast instead of having a full meal, which my wife loves to prepare. I also began eating lighter lunches and, and dinners and sometimes skipping dinner altogether. At first, I went through some hunger pains, right? Like everybody. Uh, however, I quickly realized that I had more energy and was able to get more things done. Plus, I was still happy. Food wasn't the only thing making me happy after all. So if you are in the same mindset that food is the only thing that can make you happy, it is time for a change. Start making healthier choices and you might be surprised at how good you actually will feel. One of my biggest concerns when I started trying to lose weight was that I would lose my muscle mass. I've always been fairly muscular. I work out. I'm not a big boned guy, but I still have quite a bit of muscle. I didn't want to lose that hard earned muscle, right? Along with the fat. Because I knew that when you lose weight, your body doesn't differentiate fat and muscle as much. It does burn more fat, but to avoid muscle loss, one thing that's known is the resistance training that I kept doing at a lower intensity. I didn't want to push my muscles too hard while I was on a very restricted calorie diet that would be damaging because if you're damaging your muscles and not replacing it that will be a problem however doing half of what I used to do actually helped me keep my muscle mass or muscles in shape and I'm actually now more lean and more defined I was able to lift the same amount of weight as well as I used to if I wanted to so it's possible to actually maintain your muscle mass while losing weight you just have to be careful not to overdo it I did not even have a chance to do cardio and I didn't have to because of the very low calories that I was consuming there's no reason to go work out for an hour or two although plan is to resume exercise again because daily exercises is a must now I have lost 20 pounds the next challenge is going to be to keep it off that's where exercise comes in I have learned that I don't need snacks to be happy and relaxed and that there are other things I can do with my time like playing with my kids or reading and I will continue with these practices. I will also resume my exercise at a higher intensity while still allowing myself occasional weekend cheat days, right? We are all human. I will stick with my protein drink, for example, in the mornings. That's great for me. And I am going to make a conscious effort to eat a lighter lunch and dinner. And for someone who is much older than me, for example, by the way, uh, with much less muscle mass, it may be necessary to eat only once a day and cut down on animal protein. While doing this, it is important to avoid eating too many carbs. Of course, sometimes when you eat vegetables, you don't want to be eating too much carby stuff. Now, after hearing my story, you're also trying to lose weight probably, and you're not seeing results. Here is what you should do. First of all, don't get discouraged. Second of all, try modifying your approach. If you are fasting, for example, try increasing your fasting periods instead of, for example, 12 hour fasting, try 16 or 18 or even 24 hours or longer if you can do it. Don't give up. When it's time to eat, 
don't think that you have to gorge yourself because you have been starving for 24 hours you're not going to lose weight if you do that okay it happens to me during ramadan months you know i'm a muslim i fast 18 hours i eat one meal i don't lose weight because i eat a lot now you also drink protein drinks that will help you to get you know the vitamins and minerals that are packed in there a lot of you also are taking sugar md diavitamin which is another great vitamin source for diabetics so make some modifications to your approach and don't give up you will see results in no time one of the main reasons people don't lose weight on keto diet or any diet is because they overestimate their caloric needs find out what foods for example keep you full longest and try different things to see what works best for you hunger pains usually dissipate after 15 to 20 minutes so if you can resist the temptation to eat it will get easier over time keep yourself busy with other activities to take your mind off the food and you will find it easier to stick to your diet in the long run if you have diabetes, you will need to significantly cut back on your insulin or sulfonylurea, by the way, to prevent low blood sugars if you're going on a very low calorie diet like this. For example, if you're on insulin or galipozide or a galimopride or, you know, even some herbal things, you will end up with low blood sugars and that will force you to eat. So the goal is to maintain blood sugar between 70 and 90 when you are fasting or maybe up to 120 is fine. But there are many ways to do this right the most important thing is to work with your healthcare team your endocrinologist your primary care doctor if they are willing to do so to find out how they are going to adjust your medications and what works best for you trial and error again it's important to find a balance that works for you so i hope that was helpful thank you very much for watching this video it means a lot to me that you took the time to check this video out if you found it helpful or think it could help someone else please share it on your social media and with your friends or family maybe. The more people we can reach with this message, the better. Thank you again for your support. It means the world to me. I will see you in the next video. Hey guys, I hope you are enjoying this channel so far and I hope you subscribed already. If you didn't, do it. And if you did, watch this video right there. I think that will help you too.